Asante sana nilikuwa naongea na governor kidogo. My name is Kagusha and I'm very happy your excellency to have this uh, to be rather to come to this function where we are bidding goodbye to our uh, graduates of this intern uh, internship program and uh, when I look at your faces I see very happy people who have gone through a very good uh, program. Uh, basically, our young people who are here today, you have generally been rigged in life. This rigging that has happened. Your colleagues who completed uh, university uh, may not have had this opportunity. So a lot of them will be looking for employment opportunities. And uh, when they are asked for the experience, they have none. But for you, you have been rigged in the sense that now you have been put ahead of the pack. When I completed my high school, I went into an, uh, to a volunteership program with the Students' Campaign Against Drugs. I was being paid 500 shillings per week for fare. It was not enough. And uh, you have been here, and you've been getting something a little bit more, and you should be very grateful for that. And uh, in the Bible, because we had Father Musa here, and uh, by the way, Father Musa, where is he? You have taken us very well. I listen to the preachings a lot, and uh, I wish I was here earlier to listen. But what I got, I, I learned quite a lot. But in the Bible, in the book of Matthew 14, uh, from verses 14 to all the way to, from 16 all the way to 25, um, it talks about the parable of talents. Is this person who was given, or rather, is this master who was traveling and gave uh, uh, the talents to the servants? And one of them, and, and in fact, it says that they were given according to their uh, capacity. One of them was given two, another one was given one, and another one was given five. And what happened is that the person who got five went and got more talents, another five. The one who got two went and got another two. The one who got one said, you master, I know you are a lazy person. You tried to harvest where you did not sow. For me, I hid mine so that the day you come, I can be able to uh, bring it forth and give it back to you. And, of course, we are told that the master said, that person who did not uh, invest and did not get uh, more resources from their talent, it should be taken and given to the one who had more. Because for them who have uh, uh, more, more shall be added. Today, you are going out, and we have invested in you as a county. We have given you the, uh, uh, the talents. When we meet next year, I am sure some of you seated here, the five talents we have given you, the three talents we have given you, when we meet next year, some of you will have ten. But here, as we talk, there are some who will go complaining, oh, you know, you should have been employed instead, oh, you know, yeah, and for those ones, the master will come and say, take from this and give to the one who has more. So I want to urge you, my friends, that when you go, make sure that you utilize the talent that you have been given here. It's a very big privilege, and we really want to thank our governor here. Appreciating and recognizing the young people and coming up with this program is not mean feat at all. It's something that we must be very, very happy about. And governor, this is very future, uh, is uh, forward-looking. It's something that we are very proud of as people of this county. Because it's not something that many people want to do. And the real investment is investment in people. You can do the buildings, you can do the tarmac, you can do the uh, many developments, but the real investment is investment that is done on people. Because at the end of the day, what you want to do is to impact people's lives. And for these young people, I see that the governor has invested in you. I see that in your uh, life now, you have been impacted positively. Please make sure that what you have been given, because it's a platform, make sure that you use this platform positively to impact your life and to help you uh, use it as a springboard. And we look forward to meeting you in bigger offices, doing bigger things, and you will always remember this uh, platform that you're given by His Excellency the Governor. And as you go, please, as young people, si Governor amuashika mkono, si mkono, uh -huh. For the last one year, 
you have not suffered, maybe as many other young people who completed the high school, I mean university and colleges. And uh, now, as governor is also looking forward now to getting another opportunity to empower more young people coming next year. Tafadhali, when you go, hata ye mshike mkono. Is that okay? Please, when you go, also hold the governor's hand. Talk about our governor positively wherever you go. And make sure that even your neighbors know this graduation that you have done. And they let them know that you have uh, gone through this process through uh, the good office of our, uh, our governor, Moli Mukahiga. And uh, why I'm saying this is because we are not very sure that if the governor was not in the office, we are not very sure that this kind of a program would continue, governor. You know you are Mualim, and again, you are looking into our future. And when I look at these people, Governor Najua Mimi Juzi Nimesema, when I looked at my life and realized how I have hustled through, just like these young people are hustling, I actually found myself naturally just identifying myself more with the whole aspect of hustling. Because I realize that uh, you are coming from one position and going to another position. And so, I believe it's possible for us to make it, regardless. Even if today you are starting from this position of an intern, it's possible that in the next 10 years, or even, even, even in the next five years, you're probably the, the speaker of this county. It's very possible. I was a volunteer myself recently, and now I'm the speaker. So it's possible to come from this level to the other level. And that is why, maybe Governor Nilisema, Mambo ya Azimio ya Babu, Mimi sita kuwa hapo. Eh, mimi sita kuwa hapo kwa Azimio ya Babu. And I want to urge you, Governor, also usikubali kwenda kwa hiyo manene ya Azimio ya Babu. Kwa sababu sasa, tukingia huko kwa Babu sasa, hii mambo ya kufikiria vijana, si tunaweza kuzahau. Eh, so, uh, for sure, wacha tukai hapo. Uh -huh. And uh, we ensure that we help these young people. We lift them from the lower level to a pandisha wapi? To a higher level. So, mimi nisha declare, mimi yakuna maneno ingine, governor. Eh, hey, mimi nilisema, ile kitu inafanyikaka ifanyi? Ifanyike. Hmm, kama hiko maneno inafanyika ifanya nini? Yeah, but tutaenda hapo, sisi tutakanyangia hapo. And uh, for sure, uh, governor, wacha tuendele na him tindo. And I can assure you, myself, as Kagushia, wherever I have any influence, I'm going to use it positively for you, governor. And I'm going to ensure that wherever I talk to people, wherever I address them, and we do it with Mweshimu Kafaire down there in Mukuroini. We do it very well. And we will do it. Sisi tutasimama na wewe, we are going to support you kwa hali na mali na kwa thati. Because you have worked well with us as an assembly, we are very proud of you. You have not interfered with our work. You allowed us to do our work. It's not something we take for granted. And that is why when you brought a budget requesting us as an assembly to pass, a budget to support these young people, we have always passed it. Even this budget that is coming, even if you want to add more money to support the young people, we are going to support that as an assembly. Because we know the only impact that will be left is not even much more about the roads, as I've said. It is the impact that is in the people themselves. Ile kitu tumefanya kwa maisha yenu, uh, my young people, is going to be long-lasting. And for that, uh, Governor, uh, may God also uh, prosper you, increase you, and also give you uh, whatever you desire in your heart. Is that the prayer we do for His Excellency the Governor? What about the Waheshimua, the MCAs, who have also supported him in delivering these uh, budgets and uh, these programs? Do you also wish them well? Uh-huh. Tano tena kwao. Very good. So we really thank God for that. And we are praying that uh, for sure the next government that you are going to have is going to be led by our governor. And also, as much as possible, we have all the MCAs who have been here with us uh, to help us uh, propel this county to another level. God bless you. And we really want to uh, thank you, Your Excellency, for this program. And uh, uh, for now, I want to invite His Excellency the Governor to come and address us. And
sana speaker wetu mnaweza kuketi ah uh, speaker wetu wa 